Hello, stands. Welcome or welcome back. I am Jorian, the K pop valedictorian. This is JoJo K pop Chicago, and I am so super duper excited for this episode because this is like one of the first ones we have off premise. I have this beautiful, wonderful, amazing guest here with me at this beautiful store. Please take a moment to introduce yourself and where are we right now? Hi, so my name is Lizbeth, and we're currently at K-Pop and More here in Chicago, which is a South Side based K-Pop store. Yes. Oh my gosh. I am so excited to be here. I remember when your store opened or when I heard about it, and I was like, wow, this is amazing because finally a K-Pop store on like the Southwest side of Chicago. We also forgot to introduce... Our special guests, they're always with us. Please go first. I have Joe from NCT Dream, my man. We we love him. He was on fire at the concert, girl. Yes, my special guest is EU from Everglow. She is so sweet and so cute. I love this little photo of her. She is slaying. Yeah. Slay. So let's jump right into it because what you've created here and what you have is is beautiful magnificent amazing all the positive adjectives um not everyone gets to do this right not everyone gets to have a k-pop store as a k-pop fan i know i wish i could and i know you wish you guys could out there but you actually did it so how how did that happen what inspired you to create and start and open your own k-pop store so I used to work at Sally's Beauty, so like mm, okay. you know, hair dye and stuff like that. I can um, see because your hair dye <laughs> is beautiful. You look like Ramona from Scott Pilgrim. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I used to work there, and I also used to go part time to college. Okay. Um, both were not working for me, so mm. college wasn't working for me. My job, I loved it. It's just it was really hard though. Um, so I wanted to drop out of college. Mm. Right, and I was like, I don't know what to do. And my dad gave me the idea of opening a store. He's like, I'll support you, whatever you want to do. Just figure out what you want your store to be. Mm -hmm. So my best friend, actually, she was like, dude, why don't you just open a K-pop store? Because we only had one in Chicago. Mm -hmm. So she was like, you could just, you know, be like the affordable one. And, you know, um, there's none in the South Side. Correct. So I was Correct. Like, That's a great idea. And I love K-pop. And I was like, I always want to do something that I actually really enjoy and love. So I was like, yeah, sure, let's do it. And... Well, yeah, we're here. It's I love it. Um, it was a very long process. I'm sure. Um, there's very like I've mentioned to you before. Um, there's a lot of ups and downs. But yeah. Overall, it's very rewarding. Like the community is so welcoming and so sweet to me. I've made a lot of friends. So yeah, that's how we the store became. Shout out to dads as well. The supportive dads out there, all the dads, K-pop fan dads as well, because um, that's such a beautiful thing. And to do something like this for the community, you need community. And that's why I love our K-pop community, because you've been able to grow so much. How long have you been open? Uh, a little bit over a year. So let us know. I see you have a few interesting pieces to your store. What are some kind of unique experiences that fans can expect when visiting your store k-pop and more so the, the name k-pop and more i chose it for a reason is because before i was k-pop fan i was an anime fan oh uh, okay we'll get into later on we will definitely talk about that because <laughs> same here yeah, i was a huge anime fan so i wanted to do something original mm -hmm. i was like why don't i make a k-pop store that's also an anime store um but a unique experience is we have a photoism now <laughs> Yes, I yeah. saw you post about that on your yeah. Instagram, and I was like, whoa, I've never seen this before. This is really cool. Yeah, and I'm actually currently working on adding something else. So, Ooh. so yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, wow. A little bit of sneak peek here mm -hmm. first on the JoJo K-Pop Chicago yeah. so show. Are there any little sneak peeks, hints that you can give us? It's something that can be found at arcades. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. I'm very much looking forward to that. We will definitely have to come back and visit when you add that to your store and talk about it because you've had something really cool happen here. You've actually had a couple of K-pop artists come to your store. Yeah. That's a dream. <laughs> like, I can't even imagine some of my favorite biases coming to my store and me being in front of them. You are a very brave soul. <laughs> Please talk about those experiences. Who came? How did that go? Yeah, I've had two artists come. Um, I had Bohan, 
And then I also had black on. Um, they're very, very sweet. Yeah, and like you said, it was really nerve-wracking. Yes! I was really scared. But I had to act professional, so... Yeah. You had to put the stand. You had to be like a business owner first. Yeah, and put the stand like okay. First, wait a minute. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh it wow. Was really fun. A lot of my customers still like remember that. And they're like, oh, I made amazing memories, which is really rewarding. That was like my reward. I was like, making a lot of my customers happy, and they were just like, oh, like they still have like pictures up, and they tag me, and it's just so cute. So hopefully, I have more meet and greets in the future are there any like special promotions or anything that you might have going on that you already had that have sadly passed or if you have anything in the near future because like you said your friend said you be a more affordable option for certain people because a lot of us are young and broke so <laughs> do you have any like specials or anything going on in the near future um i usually run like album sales sometimes. okay like, i put them in a discount and stuff like that mm. Uh, the magazines as well. Like right now, I have a table with magazines for ten dollars. Wait a minute, I might have to go over there <laughs> and look at them. So there's that, and then I just had a photo card sale, so they were mm. four dollars, but I had to get one free. Make sure, cause you post those like on your Instagram or your social media when you're running a sale. Yeah, I'm always like posting on social media everything. Like even when I get new items as well. Um, another thing I wanted to add on, what makes this a little bit more unique is the fact that I don't charge anything for POBs, which are pre-order benefits. Mm. Um, so I don't charge anything. It's like a cute little gift for my customers. Oh, so wow. Usually with different, like, usually the new albums get pre-order benefits. So, like, the Zero Base One album, um, you get a free POB when you buy the album and stuff like that. And I never, ever charge for albums. And then some albums come with a POB and a poster. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you get cute little stuff like that. Like, the boy next door right now, you get, like, a free cute keychain and a photo card and stuff like that. Don't tell me that because I'm going to buy it. You're a K-pop fan as much as you are a K-pop store owner. And I see you have a Jungkook cutout. My bias from BTS. Shout out Jungkook. And you also have a Bang Chan cutout as well. I'm sure your customers and your viewers would love to know who are some of your favorite groups and your biases. Let us so, know. Give us the rundown. We can be here for hours yeah. talking about it. Yeah, we can actually. Just like three. Give uh, us like three of your top, top groups. Three? Yeah. Okay. Um, Stray Kids. Okay. And Hypen and TXC. So in Hypen, okay. who then, um, is your bias? Jay and Jungwon. So I'm like double bias. Yes. And they're my old idols as well. I recently got into them. I was oh, telling yeah, you about this. I'm I'm a new engine. Welcome <laughs> me to the Phantom, guys. Be nice to me in the comments. <laughs> and I realized quickly. Oh, you don't just have one bias in this group. No. That's impossible. That's impossible. <laughs> you bias them all. I like Jake. Jake. Yeah. And he sung. Okay. And Jay and Sung Hoon and <laughs> Jung Lin and everybody else. And then Straight Kids, everybody knows his Chan. He's my old yes. idol. I, I actually have him right here. We have the representation right here. Yes. Wow. I Everybody knows me as a Chang girl. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. We coined a new term, Chang girl. Yeah. Wow. And you also said TXT? TXT. My bias is Young Jun. Say it! Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Young Jun girls. Yeah. Oh, did you like his new. Um, yes, I loved it. It was so good. This is the K pop fan happening right now. We're trying to be professional, but. Yeah, of <laughs> let me know in the comments down below have you heard Young Jun's new solo debut? Oh! Yeah, it was so good. So you have a lot going on, and you've accomplished so much in just a short amount of time, which is amazing. Can we please give her a round of applause for that? Let me say this right quick. She's a solo store owner, so she has a lot of support, and you have a lot of help. Yeah. But this initially was your idea, your baby. You need praise for that. And that's what I was saying when I saw you. I was like, you're the perfect guest for the show because what you've created here and what you've started is magnificent and it's beautiful and giving back to the Chicago K-pop community. In the next coming months before the new year, are there any upcoming events that we can look forward to? We're actually going to be celebrating Chan and Lino's birthday. Oh, wow, this should yes. be so fun! I want a birthday party celebration! Yes, yes, a little spooky party celebration. Yes, yeah. I saw you post about that on yeah. your Instagram. By the way, follow K-pop and more Chicago on Instagram. Of course, I will put it on the screen. Because that's where you mainly post your yeah. updates and everything. Yeah. 
So you are great with keeping up and just like the whole social media thing. I'm trying to get better at it, honestly, it's myself. Hard, yeah. Okay, like a Halloween celebration that's coming up. Yeah, so we're okay. gonna have like deco, um, face up making, some vendors, and then we're gonna have limited supply, but we're gonna have little cupcakes and cute little treats for people. That should be so fun! Anything for November or December? before the new year lets out i want to do a birthday party for nikki from in hyphen yes December, and we have the same birthday <gasps> what? <laughs> we have birthday. our birthday twinsies that's so cute i want to do something like that that would be cute yes that would be adorable oh my goodness well uh we will definitely make sure to come back in the new year for anything 2025 it's gonna be a big year liz from the bottom of my heart I truly, truly, truly want to thank you so much for being a guest on the show. You know how it feels starting from the ground up, right? And trying to get people to feed into what you're doing and get support and stuff like that, get funding or whatever, any type of support. So I'm Aww. so grateful, so thankful that thank you decided you. to be a guest on the show. Please, please, please make sure to visit Liz at the wonderful and spectacular and awesome K-pop and more at 5830 South Kedzie Avenue, 60629. Open every day from 11 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. except on Tuesdays. Make sure to follow K-pop and more Chicago on Instagram and TikTok. Come and hang out, chill, yeah. say hi to Liz. Tell her Jory and sent you. Anything you'd like to add on? Um, if you need a K-pop friend, I'm here. <laughs> because that's honestly what it's about. And that's another reason why I wanted to have you as a guest on the show. Community. Mm -hmm. And that's the whole thing about uh, JoJo K-pop Chicago. Yeah. It's about community. The Chicago K-pop community. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode. This lovely interview. This was so cool to do with the awesome and spectacular Liz. Make sure to like, comment, share, follow, subscribe, all that jazz. I'm Jorian, the K-pop valedictorian. This is JoJo K-pop Chicago, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye. 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 Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, That's really maybe helpful. Like during Black Friday, I'll put more albums on discount. We usually okay. put them on discount. Last year, I put like 17 albums mm -hmm. and stuff like that at a discount. So. Yeah, about the <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> just, that was the song that made me get into them, so I really like this song.